Welcome back to the Force 9 YouTube channel. Welcome back to more Football Manager 2018 and uh, the Rolling Stone save uh, with Maidstone United. And today, uh, episode two, we're playing our first game in the National League. It's a home game against Maidenhead, who are newly promoted from the National League South. So hopefully we can get off to a winning start. We will see. If you're enjoying the videos, make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you want to see videos as and when it's not on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. A few signings, uh, we're going to go through those and we're going to go through our preseason fixtures. A couple of odd moments in there, but um, yeah, we'll do those. And then uh, we will play Maidenhead, who are predicted to finish bottom of the table. We, though, have dropped down to ninth. We were eighth originally, we've dropped down to ninth. So, who's going to be brought in? Well, there's one person on the way. Cameron Cox, the 18-year-old right-back from Cardiff, is set to join on loan for the season. Uh, I've managed to sort out Cardiff as a, a parent club. It's something that Maidstone didn't have and something I thought they needed. I also made a mistake last time of thinking that Alex Finney was on loan for the season. He's not. I was looking down here at his contract with QPR, which is for the season. But he actually is only with us until January the 6th. And unfortunately, he's injured at the moment. He's got a groin injury. He's going to be out for a couple of weeks. So that's one centre-back that we don't have at the moment. But injuries at the moment have been pretty horrific pre-season. But we have uh, secured the signing of two players. One is Rich Dell, I think it is, or Deal. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm going to go with Dell for now, but do correct me if you think I'm wrong, or if you know I'm wrong. Uh, he's 20 years old. He's decent. You know, he's probably, at the moment, probably about the same level as uh, our senior goalkeeper, that being... Uh, uh, Lee Worgan, the 33-year-old. Uh, he's probably about the same. He's got better attributes in some areas than Worgan, but Worgan's better in other areas, as we'll see here if we go to attributes. Uh, mentally, he's probably better, and physically, although he's not naturally fit. But lots of 10s and 11s in there. A uh, good passer of the ball, decent throw-in, decent communication, although not as good as uh, Worgan's. But mentally, he's better. So I think these two will kind of share the loading goal. He's got great potential, so hopefully... Uh, for this season, Dahl can be, you know, a good goalkeeper when called upon. We've also signed a left back in Jason Akiotu, who is Nigerian, uh, former Crystal Palace youngster, never played in the senior team for them. Uh, as a left back, tackling at 11 is not bad, 12 concentrations good. Physically, he's decent and got a bit of pace about him. Um, so, yeah, not, you know, not too bad. We're going to need a lot more than this, you know, we still got, we can make transfers whenever, as long as we get free agents and loans, we can make, you know, as many transfers as we need to. Um, no one's going anywhere at the moment, we've got no one wanted at all, I don't think. But uh, should we get offers for players, uh, my initial reaction would probably be to cash in on them and just make as much money as we can. So that's my idea with that. So that is pre-season, as you can see, more or less fine, just defeats against, you know, some of the higher up opposition, like Falkirk and Brighton. It would have been hard to get results against them, but against the, with the matches we were expected to win, we did so. So that's I'm happy with that. That's fine. And uh, Lee Worgan, the real hero in this game, with an uh, amazing double save from George Hurst. I'll just show you this quickly. So uh, the penalty here from George Hurst was saved by uh, Lee Worgan. You'll see that. And then just a tremendous follow-up with the double save, which was even better. So that was fantastic. Uh, so yeah, we will, we lost this one 2 one. We went two 0 down quite early on. Um, all three goals come in within like ten minutes of each other as well. Kieran Dunn and Rory Lloyd getting the goals for Falkirk, and then Alex Finney getting our goal. I just want to show Rory Lloyd's goal because this is just the absolute mess that I saw in this game. This is ridiculous. I tried posting this actually to Twitter, but it's hard to post videos on Twitter when they're recorded from OBS. You've got to have the proper settings for Vegas, and I couldn't get it to work. And when it did work, it was terrible because uh, the the resolution was just awful. So Wargan goes with the clearance here. And what do you know? It comes straight off of Rory Loy and goes in the goal. That's just some of the rotten luck we had pre-season. Again, one of these goals was ridiculous. And it was Faversham's goal. It was an Alex Winter own goal. So Chambers' effort um, was saved by Wargan. And then Tuamazi went to clear it. And he just kicked it straight into his own player and it goes down as a winter own goal. I mean, that's just ridiculous. And that's the sort of bad stuff we've had pre-season. It's been silly. I think that's everything I've got to go through. So uh, let's jump in on the match preview and let's see um, what sort of team we're going to field. And we can have a look at my tactic for the first time. So as you can see, we've got a few injury concerns. Loza has been out since the start of the save. Jamal Loza, who's a poacher striker. Uh, haven't seen him play yet because he's been injured since the very start. But nine goals last season and 24 appearances. 
it's not too bad. Uh, before that, he's played at Southend and Norwich. He's been sort of here and there. Also, uh, Harry Phipps uh, is out with a groin injury. He's going to be out for a couple of weeks. He's on the up, 18-year-old uh, central midfielder. Kind of a playmaker. A lot of our midfielders are more defence-minded. They're like ball-winning midfielders or uh, central defenders like on defend. They're specialising. We don't have a lot of people that can actually play advanced playmaker. Phipps is one of them, but he's injured. Uh, another player we've had out recently, Magnus Okwang Hai, 31-year-old Englishman. Uh, again, he's been out since the start, so we haven't seen him play. But um, central defender, 14 heading, 13 tacklings, really good. Like for this level, that that's like the attributes you'd expect from like a championship player. 15 determination as well. He's decent, but again, he's out for a couple of weeks with a knee injury. And I mentioned Alex Finney, he's out with a couple of weeks as well. So two good defenders that we're missing at the moment. And uh, otherwise, I think we're almost at a good bill of health. So... This hasn't been what I've been playing, but I, I've been suggested to play a 4 4 2. So, this is what we're looking at at the moment. It's kind of an asymmetric 4 3 3. So, Lee Wargan's going to be in goal until he underperforms, in which case, Rich Dill will come in. Uh, the back four is kind Well, Hare wouldn't really play there normally. Josh Hare is much better as that defensive midfielder. But he's sitting in at central defence at the moment just until we get Okwang Hay. Or Finney back. We could play um, Josh Dawling there, but he's he kind of prefers right back. He's only 18, and as you can see, he's just not very good at all. Left back, we've got uh, Joe Anderson at the moment, who's not too bad. Three, not two and a half star. I think we can improve on him. We can try and upgrade him. Uh, of course, we do now have. Uh, where is he? At right back, we've got Seth Nana Twamazi, 27 year old Ghanaian fullback, who. Um, Looks okay mentally, physically. Uh, 11 headings, good. But you know, as a fullback, you know, he's, he's not terrible. We really need, like, a you know, we, we need an upgrade on right back. We're getting the Cardiff guy in. The only other one we have right now is Malachi Medley, who is awful. He's really, really bad. So we, we, we've got the, um, the Cardiff right back coming in for that. But, yeah, even then still, I think we need to improve that. And central midfield, we've got lots of options. But as I said, they're not very... Um, attack minded there are a lot of defensive options uh, Stuart Lewis is like a central midfielder on defend or a ball winning midfielder he's good at it but we've got a lot of players like that Reese Prestage is the same he's a little bit more versatile he could play as a Mazzara or as like a box to box but still again we don't have anyone that can play like playmaker apart from uh, Harry Phipps who's injured so that's a bit of a pain otherwise Muldoon is a ball winner uh, where's Paxman? Jack Paxman is okay as an advanced playmaker. Like he's come in here and there, and uh, he's um, played three appearances. He's not really done much though, so that's a bit disappointing in that front. Jai Reasons, a uh, uh, midfielder. Jack Richards, uh, central midfielder on attack, but uh, just not a very good player. So midfield, we've got lots of players, but you know they all kind of do the same thing, so that's not really helpful. Uh, in left midfield, we've got Tommy Raitt, 23 years old, who uh, has uh, joined us from East Thorock. Um, he's not too bad at all. Great work rate. Um, got a little bit of pace about him. His uh, dribbling's decent. Not bad crossing. Um, technique's pretty good. Brave. So he's not terrible. Ability of only two star, but don't think that'll matter too much. Uh, the only other player we have on the left is Harvey Willard, who's probably better actually. He's just come back from an injury. Uh, 13 long shots isn't too, too bad to have. But a little bit of pace again. Determination's on the up, which is good. I think we've got him tutored at the moment, so that helps. On the right, Zavon Hines is probably our best player. He's got six assists off screen uh, in the friendlies, which is great. Didn't score a goal, but six assists. Joshua Sturman played a few games out of there. But again, just not great. I think up front is where we're probably best. Uh, we've got Ter Horse, who scored four goals in preseason. Uh, 13 finishing, it's fine, it's good. Piggott scored six. He's looking, you know, good. Lots of 12s and 13s in there, which I'm happy about. Uh, Delano Sam York scored three goals as well. 14 heading, good for a target man. 14 strength, 13 jump and reach, so, you know, decent for a target man. Uh, Lowe's is injured. Um, only everyone you could really use is Ashman. Got 12 finishing. And a little bit of pace, but that's all really. So this is the starting at 11 we're going to go with. I'm not going to put a goalkeeper on the bench. You only get five subs. So I feel like they all need to be outfield players. 
Alright, so for my bench, I've gone with Dorling and Akio to cover the defences. Dorling can play right back or centre back, so that's handy. You can cover both of those. Akio to cover left back. Paxman to cover central midfield. Willard to cover the wings. And then Sam York to cover up front. So I feel like, you know, we've got a good bit of uh, versatility in the team. I think that's very important. Alex Winter, key to that, because he can play centre back or right back or left back if it will show me. Just click the player, damn it. Come on. So there you go. Or he could even play in defensive midfield. He would be great at it. But he can fill a lot of voids, which I'm quite happy about. So this is the uh, team we're going to go with. Mentality-wise, we've got control and fluid on. Uh, we are going for early crosses and clearing the ball to the flanks. We're going for mixed passing, playing fairly wide with a slightly higher defensive line. I'm just going to ask them to stick to their positions as well. I think that will be something that will help. So that's going to be what we're going to go with. Hopefully, we'll start us off with a win. We need a couple of numbers. Okay, so it's a uh, very straightforward 4-4-2 by Maidenhead. Now, I don't know any of these players. I'm not at all familiar with Conference. So uh, let's just have a look at some of their key players. So their captain is Alan Massey, who's a centre-back, who's probably better than any of our centre-backs. So that's not good news. Vice-captain James Comley is a midfielder who, again, is probably better than any of our midfielders. And these are the guys who got promoted from the uh, League South. Key player is Ivor Lawton, who is brilliant mentally. Uh, technically not brilliant. Again, he's a ball in midfielder. So I guess we'll see how this goes. We're just testing the water here. Um, apparently we're favourites, so I'm going to go for the fans. It didn't really work. It only seems to work when you're facing rivals. But let's go for a bit of faith. They don't really seem to care. Uh, so let's have a look. So this is the stadium. This is Gallagher Stadium. To be honest, I've been... And they've pretty much got the stadium spot on. I'm not sure about the surrounding bits, but the stadium's pretty good. Like, And you can see that the pitch looks amazing as well. It's a 3G pitch. And you can kind of tell that from the game, which is brilliant. It's with Maidenhead at the moment. And a long ball up to Marks, who is one-on-one. -on -one, and sure, Marks puts Maidenhead up, 1-0. Now, the defensive line was a little bit high. I have got a higher line set. So maybe that's not a good idea. Because, you know, Mully here with the ball to Comley. And then Comley with the ball to set March free. I mean, our defenders were almost on the halfway line. That's too high. And then Marks with an easy finish past the goalkeeper. And a 1-0 lead for Maidenhead. Not good start for us. And we've still got the ball here. Is Von Hines. Can he uh, create something here? He's put a cross in there. It's not bad. To Horse to Piggott. And we've equalised. 24 minutes played. 1-1. Joe Piggott opens his account for the league. Or the non-league. It gets that's gonna get confusing. It's it, it's a league, but it's non-league. Like, make up your mind, FA. What is it? I mean, there's Avon Hines with a cross, and then it kind of just fell to Pigger. I think I don't know if it was to Horst who put it to him, or whether it was just off of one of their players. But uh, we have got the goal. That's what matters. One-one. Just gonna do a little encourage shout. You know, we could retake the lead here. We have got more shots than them, and more possession. We are controlling the game. We're on fluid, so you know, I like how this is going. We've got another injury to uh, Mully, their right midfielder now. So, their right midfielders are really taking the pounding out there. So, we're going to exploit the flanks and we're going to run out the defense. Looking very nervous out there. I'm not sure why that is. Like, I get we're like trying to push for a top half finish here, but I don't know why there's so many nerves out there. 1 1 at half time. Um, I think we've been, it's been a tight game. We've had more of the ball. I wouldn't say we've been the better team. But, you know, we have had more of the ball. I'm going to say to them, well, you weren't too bad. I've got a couple more happy players in there. Hopefully that's calmed the nerves a little bit. We've got a lot of instructions set. We should maybe remove some of these. We're not going to close down as much. We're going to go back to a normal width. Uh, and just take off the stick to positions. Just try and simplify a little bit. You know, we're non-league. We need to keep it simple. So hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can take the lead in this game. We went behind, which is unfortunate, but hopefully we can come out of this game with three points. Uh, they've made a change. Uh, R. Peters, Ryan Peters is on. See, Tommy Rates had a rough game, as 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 Avon Hines, as as Prestead. So there's some low ratings out there. So we need to look at making a change soon. Lots of nerves. Like Rate, we could bring on Willards and push him a little bit further up. And then we could take off Pressed Edge and go for Paxman. And we could play him as an advanced playmaker. Hopefully that won't leave Lewis to expose. Like, we'll change him 
We'll change it into a ball winner. And uh, I think we'll just drop Heinz a little bit deeper. Now, how do we calm these nerves? Like, no pressure maybe? Might be a bit of a risk because I'm just uh, basically saying this map doesn't matter. Which isn't true. But I'm just trying to calm the... Look, look at the nervousness of the team here. This is like... I don't know what this is. I don't know why they're being so nervous. Do you know what? I want to go for a result here. So we're going to go uh, to horses of poacher. We're going to go essentially for a 4 2 4. We've got 20 minutes left. Zavon Hines on a 6.4 isn't great. To a horse hasn't done well. Um, last 15 minutes of the game here. Second change been made by uh, Maidenhead. Upward is on. So they've changed their wide play. So let's now take off the exploit the flanks. Now with uh, 10 minutes left. Uh, I'm going to take off to Horst and we're going to go for another striker. Let's put Sam York up there. Uh, now we could play him as a target man. Does Piggott have another role he's decent at? Deep line forwards uh, on attack. It's not bad. And let's just put the uh, sh the shape just back to something a bit more flexible. And we do have a highlight here. 81 minutes. Could be a winner here in the last 10 minutes for either team. Uh, we have lost possession though. Peters now. And uh, oh, can we get to that first? We can. Here back to Worgen. And the clearance did not bounce off of one of their players, which is good. And now Josh Hare. And he goes for the long ball up to, uh, to Horse, which is good. And he's kept possession. Now can he still up Piggott? He can. And Piggott gets it. And he's had a winner. We'll see. There's still 10 minutes or so left. But to Horse and Piggott's linking up well there. Looks like we've got a strike partnership on our hands that could hopefully get us a bunch of goals this year. Great ball up to Ter Horse. And he does well to hold on to the ball. Goodman doesn't get there. And Piggott in acres of space to uh, pick out the shot he wanted. So now that we're leading, um, I'm not going to make that change. Uh, we are still going to take off to Horst. But we're just going to go just a little bit more defensive. We're going to put Hare into that uh, defensive midfield role. And we're just going to bring on Josh Dawling. And just get another defender. And then just try and tighten up a little bit. And let's go back to standards. 87 minutes now. We are now going to go defensive and just try and... Waste time and just secure this game. Their goalkeeper is called Michael Polk. Of course it is. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to scout him because I want to buy him if he's good. Into injury time, of which there are four minutes. And uh, have we won a penalty? No. Good tackle, apparently. Hines brought down by Rumble, but he did win the ball. And now Maidenhead still looking for that equaliser. And they've got a lot of injury time to do it. And Peter's here looking for a cross in there. And it's headed towards goal and it's in. And that's got in. Who's that? Sean Marks with uh, the 91st minute equaliser. That's unfortunate. Newly promoted Maidenhead getting a 2-2 draw at Maidstone who uh, fancy to finish in the top half. And that's not the start I was hoping to get off to. A bit disappointing. That maybe we went defensive a bit early. Maybe we could have you know, gone for a third and gone in for the kill. Uh, but that looks like it's going to be how it ends. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No way. They've got a penalty in the 95th minute. Four minutes have been played. If they snatch this and win, I'm going to be livid. Who's taking this? Oh, it's Marks, who's already scored. And, oh, it's in. Worgen went to ground for it, but couldn't get it. Are we seriously going to lose this 3-2? Are you for real? I mean, that was a pretty feeble attempt to save it by Worgen. And we played 95 minutes of, of, of play here. Not only four minutes of injury time were um, scheduled, and they snatched a winner. And that's piss uh, that's the first live com, and I'm already annoyed at this. Sean Mark got a hat trick in the end. Like, how is that fair? I mean, I don't know if we highlighted him before the game, but that's annoying. That's really, really annoying. Oh well, Tuomasi got a five point one in the end. I don't know if that was because of the two late goals, but. Like, really? They were very they were nervous out there. I mean look at look at the match stats. So we had plenty of possession. We had more shots than them, although we had the same number on target. I feel like we were the better team there and we deserved something. I can't help but feel a little bit robbed there, although we didn't play especially well. So Von Hines, 6-4. Rate wasn't very good. Uh, Prestige wasn't good. Tomazi, I think, was I don't know if he was to blame for the other goal for the two late goals, I don't know. But we go again. We're facing Ebsleet next, uh, who got promoted the season after us through playoffs. Looks like they lost their opening fixture and are sitting rock bottom. So hopefully we can pick up points there. And then we face Leighton Orient. That's going to be tough because they've just got relegated from League 2. But I don't know what their squad's like in terms of everyone else. But I feel like 
this might be a bit harder than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be hard, but I feel like top half is going to be a bigger challenge than I thought it would be. So I think we'll aim for about there. So I'll do like sort of five games off screen, maybe six. That's going to be kind of where we go. And then next time we'll go for around, I don't know, around Bromley or Geasley. But that's going to do it for now. I'm pretty annoyed to have lost that. Like, we deserved at least a point from that. And we've come away with nothing. So I've got to be annoyed. But anyway, that is going to do it for today. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Leave comments. And if you want to see videos and as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next episode where uh, we're going to go up to around the end of August and hopefully pick up some new signings, try and uh, build the team, improve the team and hopefully pick up some points because at the moment we're sitting on zero. Although I've only played one game, don't want to be on zero. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.